Fired from the spent cartridges were found on the sixth floor uh, on the southeast window. And we came back downstairs at this time after securing the scene to leave all the evidence for the crime lab. When we got back downstairs and were talking to one of the officers on the street about what we had found upstairs, we received notice by a citizen who was using a police radio that an officer had been shot in the Oak Cliff section of the city. That was uh, Mr. Tippett. That was Tippett. At this time, uh, Sergeant Owens and I were instructed by the inspector in charge at the scene to report to Oak Cliff and begin the investigation out there. On our arrival, we obtained a description of a suspect and we began tracing his steps through the aid of civilian witnesses when we uh, first received a location on him. They said he was in one of two vacant buildings that were being used for furniture storage in the 400 block of East Jefferson. We reported to this location and uh, called for some assistance to secure the buildings and at that time we went into the buildings, checked them out to determine that the suspect wasn't there. While we were still at this location, we received word that he was in the library at Marcellus and Jefferson. We reported to that scene, and then we uh, found out this was also a bogus call. But then the third call, which proved to be the charm, came out that the suspect had entered the Texas Theater some five blocks away. When we arrived at this location, uh, we secured the building from the outside, and then Ray Hawkins and N.M. McDonald, C.T. Walker, Bob Carroll, Paul Bentley, K.E. Lyons, Myself and other officers went into the building and we began a systematic check of all the suspects or all the people who were in the theater. As Officer McDonald approached a suspect sitting on the third row from the back of the theater, the suspect jumped up, yelled, this is it, and took a swing at the officer. Officer McDonald started to grapple with the man as he reached for a gun which was concealed under his shirt and uh, the gun was fired one time by the suspect, but luckily it misfired. The, the pin hit the shell, but it did not fire. McDonald yelled for help, and the other officers in the theater and I managed to subdue the man, disarm him, and handcuff him. At that time, we brought him out of the building, put him in a squad car, and brought him straight to homicide and robbery and turned him over to Captain Fritz. Who were those officers, Jerry? Uh, Officer Hawkins, McDonald, C.T. Walker, Bob Carroll, K.E. Lines, Paul Bentley, and myself were the ones that were actually in along with Bob Barrett from the FBI who was in on the arrest with us also.